Meet Fred, an ultra-realistic humanoid robot made for the launch of the second season of Westworld. It took three months to complete it. The goal was to fool people into believing the robot was alive. Fred the robot was modeled on a real 55-year-old male and was brought to life by the robotics company Engineered Arts as a hyper-realistic humanoid robot. The alarmingly lifelike bot is made with silicone skin, real hair, and a complex metal skeleton that allows the robot to make realistic movements. Fred was set up in a pub in London, along with hidden cameras, to see how real members of the public would interact with the artificially intelligent robot, just as in the television series. In the pub, Fred generated conversations and gave details about Westworld on Now TV. Created to engage in natural conversation in real time, his interactions were controlled by Engineered Art's telepresence system, which uses inbuilt sensors, cameras, and microphones to track what and how people interact. Mobile manipulators are expected to become the next generation automation tool. Tokyo Robotics is one of the leaders in developing various next generation robots. One of the company's highlights is the mobile manipulator Tolan. Tolan is a user friendly mobile manipulator that supports the development of next generation robotic applications. It is ideal for creating autonomous robots that automate material handling tasks in logistics, short distance transportation in factories, security, patrolling, and more. The robot can operate even in confined spaces due to the asymmetrical placement of its arms. The launch of the robot was announced on August 10, 2022. The company is researching and developing next generation autonomous robots that perform manipulations combining autonomous movement and image recognition. A robotic kiwi fruit harvester developed in New Zealand is expected to greatly aid the industry in the coming years. It has been developed to help pick some of the more than 3 billion kiwi fruit harvested in New Zealand each year. Labor shortages and arrival of new varieties have made getting the fruit off the vine at the right time a huge challenge for growers. Now a team of scientists and engineers working with Waikato and Auckland universities have developed a new robotic picking machine designed to move along beneath the vines, gently taking the fruit as it goes. The mobile robot automatically moves to the bag or picker location when the message is received, and the picker can empty the bag into the robot. The robot then takes the fruit to the desired destination for sorting or packing, and then repeats the process when another bag is filled. An array of cameras are at the heart of the machine, which uses a series of learning algorithms to map the canopy above in three dimensions. The system retains the use of a human fruit picker while introducing automated robotics concepts. A robot dog with a flamethrower attached to its back is now on sale in America. Manufacturer Throwflame first introduced its new creation called the Thermonator last summer, and now it's available for purchase. The company shared a new video demonstrating what the Thermonator is capable of. The video, which lasts just under two minutes, starts with the flamethrower on the robot's rear being filled with lighter fluid. Then the Thermonator is seen spewing flames, including one shot showing it jumping while doing so. On its website, the company positions the creation as the world's first flamethrower-equipped robot dog. It costs nearly $10,000. Critics warn that if the robot falls into the wrong hands, trouble could follow, as they oppose the company's intention to sell the robot to anyone interested. However, the developers themselves do not consider their creation to be a weapon. They position the robot dog as a tool for special effects, as Throwflame is actively involved in such systems for the film industry. Apparently, the flamethrower is attached to the Unitry Go 1 robot dog model, a not too large quadruped robot, although the creators could have used a larger specimen from Boston Dynamics, in which case the flamethrower would be more long ranged and powerful. However, Engineers may have wanted to use the spot model, but Boston Dynamics strictly prohibits arming its robots. The Festo Bionics team has developed the Bionic B robot, a flying robot capable of autonomous flight as part of a group of robots. The B robot flaps its wings, making forward and backward strokes at an angle of 180 degrees. The wings are actuated by a brushless motor, Three servo motors are used to control the direction of movement, shifting the wings to create variations in lift. To achieve autonomous behavior for a swarm of 10B robots, an internal localization system using ultra-wideband technology is employed. Eight UWB beacons are installed on two levels of the facility, allowing for precise determination of the robot's positions in space. Each robot receives signals from the UWB beacons, 
autonomously determines its distance to the transmitters and calculates its position in space using timestamps. During swarm movement, the bee robots follow trajectories defined by a central computer, as high spatial and temporal accuracy is required for a flight with no collision. Additionally, route planning must also consider potential interactions caused by air turbulence. Warehouse logistics is reaching a new level with the unmanned forklift truck FOLA from the developer iPlus Mobot. Such a robot is equipped with three-dimensional perception technology of the surrounding environment, allowing it to perform cargo handling and storage operations without the involvement of an operator. The forklift can autonomously detect and navigate around obstacles in its path, as well as pallet stacking on racks. Also, thanks to integration with the warehouse planning system, the robot autonomously selects the optimal route for each specific case. The machine can lift loads weighing up to 1400 kilograms to a height of up to 1.6 meters. The engineers from Kim Lab presented their innovative creation, the interactive robotic backpack system, known as Papras. The backpack features four arms and is controlled by the user's upper body movements, demonstrating the expansion of the user's physical abilities with extra limbs. This system, envisioned to give users superpowers, incorporates interchangeable additional limbs that provide enhanced capabilities. The development of such a complex control system that enables simultaneous control of multiple limbs is currently underway, bringing the idea of Dr. Octopus-like abilities closer to reality. While still a work in progress, the potential benefits and applications of this technology are vast, ranging from enhancing human capabilities to aiding in physically challenging tasks. Scientists have developed a prototype robot called RingBot, inspired by the wheeled battle droids from Star Wars. It is a self-propelled wheel that uses extendable supports for control. RingBot is powered by two motorized drive modules with small gear wheels located inside the wheel rim. The supports prevent it from falling and help it to stand up if it does. During testing, it reached speeds of up to 5 km per hour. In the future, such robots could be deployed in delivery services. Faster and larger bot like this could use cameras, sensors, and GPS to autonomously navigate through traffic on crowded city streets delivering goods. It will be capable of maneuvering in tight spaces. A future version could also feature four wheeled legs, allowing it to climb stairs. The French company Stanley Robotics has developed a parking robot named Stan. Such a device is capable of accepting a car, taking it to an available parking space and parking it there. If the car needs to be retrieved, the robot will quickly bring it back from the parking. The device is primarily designed to serve parking lots at airports. The new robot stand will optimize airport parking lots. In particular, it can park cars more tightly. This will allow one parking lot to accommodate more vehicles. In addition, developers believe that the robot will significantly reduce the time required for parking. The robot is capable of moving any type of passenger car regardless of the length of their wheelbase. The robot is a platform on small wheels with movable clamps for the car's wheels. To move the car, the robot approaches it, clamps the wheels, and lifts the vehicle. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.